So for those of you who don't know, we reside in a adorable little city called Oceanside, California. And sorry, I have to pause you right there. Please tell me the slogan for Oceanside that you saw in our local coffee shop. Oceanside, California, a sunny place for shady people. <laughs> for some time now, many of you have been requesting a house tour, so we thought this week, we're gonna do one. It's as good a week as any. <laughs> okay, so let's start out in this room that we're in. Why not? Why not? Yeah. This is our living room. This is our all hangouty room when it's too cold to be outside. The piece that we're sitting on right now is a futon. When you hear the word futon, like don't think it's like, oh, one of these like crappy food. Or you can think that if you like actually. <laughs> yeah, that's super fine. But um, it actually has a really nice tempur mattress. It took a long time to find it. And we eventually found a place right here. A local local place where you can get everything customized. Yeah. So we could pick the frame, the size, uh, the futon. It probably was our most expensive thing for the house. Was our freaking futon. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, and and we love it. And it is very comfy. Our kitchen is an adorable little kitchen. I love it to bits. From where we're sitting, right over there is the kitchen. We have uh, created more kitchen space by putting a little island in and also mm -hmm. also some cabinets to extend yeah. it out because otherwise it would just be a stove and a yeah. countertop. Yeah. I mean it's functional. The only real drawback, mm -hmm. well there's there's two I think. Okay. First one is there's no dishwasher. Yeah. So we have to hand wash all our dishes yeah. which is fine. Yeah. First world problems. Second thing is the placement of our sink is like the <laughs> only place where it really could go but it's so awkward. It's in the corner, like behind the fridge. So yeah, that's kinda... that's a little tough to 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 do, especially with when the washing up is happening. When you're like when yeah. I'm, you're <laughs> trying to put groceries away or, yeah. or food away, yeah. and I'm trying to. Wash no, it's like a one person. If someone is back there, it's a it's a one person uh, situation. Right. You have to wait on your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the kitchen living room area, and you go through the only door that you can go through and that leads us into the office the office so this is the second I guess of three rooms that we have we have managed to squeeze both of our desks <laughs> all of our clothes and all of our work stuff into this tiny tiny little room and it is cozy but um, and, and but we're also looking for a new office outside of the house so we can make that into like a video game and music room. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why am I whispering that? It's because it's video game and I felt like that was embarrassing. A video game and music room. Yeah. There we exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> so as soon as we can find a nice office, then we can take this office and put it somewhere else. Yeah. Until then, it, it works. It works well. We've, oh, yeah. we've had it like this for six months, and you know, it's been absolutely it works. It's yeah. been really good. So yeah. In the back, back, uh, we have our uh, bedroom. Again, really small bedroom, but enough to fit a very, very comfortable bed and um, some shelves. I got my keyboard back there and my guitar on the wall, so it's kind of also a little musicy. Music corner, totally. Uh, it's super cozy, actually. It's really cozy. It is super cozy, actually. And one of the Swedish touches that we have in there is on the bed. There's no top sheet, so it just goes. That's right. Mattress sheet that goes over the mattress, and then comforter, which is very Swedish. And I had never yeah. really seen that until going to Sweden. But I really, really like it, and so makes sense, huh? Mm -hmm. Much nicer than a sheet like getting oh, all tangled geez, up and feet get so stuck yeah in it. i don't know why that is a thing it's so inconvenient mm. I, <laughs> sorry americans but it's like it's so annoying that she just keeps like tangling up around your feet or legs and then you wake up with a little like sheet sausage on the side and you're like <laughs> close to this blanket that maybe isn't, I don't know, <laughs> that fresh. So Going back through the office, you can go to the restroom, which is just the restroom. But the weird thing about that is uh, there is cat stuff everywhere. Oh man. 
So I told Lisa she couldn't get a cat right now because we travel too much. And so her solution was that she would get any sort of cat decorative paraphernalia, even to the point where she was sneaking stuff into our basket and purchasing them while I was at the same store as her when I wasn't paying attention. This is she, true. she bought a cat toilet bowl cleaner. But other than that, it's a bathroom. Um, there's a window over the sink, which is a little odd, but it's actually kind of nice. Again, all this light. It's a lot of light in yeah, there. Yeah, there's just so much light in this house. I love it. And out from the bedroom, we also um, have the door out to our uh, patio in the back, which is very Open. much of a, a sacred space for us. Totally. Um, we've made it really cozy with a lot of plants, a lot of cushions and blankets, and lots of little seating areas and, and lighting and candles it's just it's really romantic yeah. and we've spent a ton of time there yeah i think yeah. having such a small house in such a temperate climate like mm -hmm. it was really important for us to have outdoor space yeah and then when we found a place with outdoor space we put a lot of extra effort into mm -hmm. making that yeah i mean it's totally your uh, living room it's a living yeah, room yeah, yeah. that you have to just consider it's a little a bit living the room there's weather. a little breakfast bistro table out there there's mm -hmm. a slightly larger table if you want to have more people over yeah and then a coffee kind of loungy area mm -hmm. yeah yeah i really love that we're really not uh big fans of just like buying things and collecting things we are we select things carefully that we really like and uh kind of base our, our style and and lifestyle uh off of that and here's some really awesome news very soon there will be a little shop on our um, site thiscolorfulworld.com where we will feature a few of our favorite items so uh, stay tuned for that and once you're on there you can also subscribe to our weekly friend letter and through that you can actually find our Facebook group too which is super awesome the community is phenomenal thanks so much for joining on our house tour and thanks Lauren for coming up with that idea I know a lot of people have asked us so yeah. now we did it and please let us know let us know what surprised you or any comments on your or your personal style maybe your partner style how you're finding a way to compromise and also what do you guys do with space and storage do you live in a small space large space and do you have any really good tips on storage because uh we're doing good here, but honestly, if you have more good tips on how to make it work really well in small spaces, we're very, very excited to hear from you. Always <laughs> open to good suggestions there. All right, guys. Thanks so much for, for hanging with us today, and uh, we'll see you super uh, soon again. Bye. Bye.